What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in today's video, we're talking about Mage, we're gonna be talking about macros and add-ons, and World of Warcraft patch 8.3. This is gonna cover whether or not it's in PvE or PvP, why I use them, why you should be using them too. Check this out, baby. Yeah. Hey, won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts combine the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time. And you two All right, everybody, jumping right into it. A lot of people ask me how I get my UI to look the way that it does and how I get this nice, clean look. And I, I kind of have my UI look, uh, it looks like this across all of my characters. And I have all of my uh, spells and keys bound to the same spots using the same add-ons and the same macros across all of my characters. I just modify them accordingly depending on what character or what spec I'm playing, all right? So the first add-on that we'll talk about is shadowed unit frames, and that's the one that I have that's in the center of my screen here, and that's for my target, my health, um, my um, my health bar, and my target's health bar. All right, and that one is um, accompanied by weak auras, and I recommend going to wago.io and finding Luxios or like Afinar's um, code. And when you get their code, you're just gonna bring up weak auras, you come to import, you copy and paste it from there into here. And when you bring it up, it's gonna bring you a bunch of spells that's up like this. You just modify the ones that you have that uh, for the code that it brings up and the spec that you're playing, and you modify them accordingly so that it'll fit in between your UI like this or in between your, your target bar and your health bar, okay? All right, the next add-on that we're going to talk about is Bartender. That's the one that I have that's down here in the bottom. And that one just simply disables all of the Blizzard standard uh, barbs and UIs and stuff like that so that you're able to clean everything up and make it look the way that I have mine. So just play around with Bartender and you're able to move stuff around, disable it, enable it when you're in combat, out of combat, etc. Okay, you can resize everything and move it around. The next one that I have is Details. And what I do with this one is I have it for heals and for damage. Um, one, the one that's on my right side is for damage and the one that's on my left side here is for healing done. That way I can simply modify the DPS for who the big dogs are that's in the group or my rotation simply or specifically. That way I know when I'm falling off and when I need to push my buttons harder to do more DPS. <laughs> Uh, the next one that we're going to talk about after that is going to be sneaky mods with sneaky mods You're able to bring up your FPS. I have mine locked right now at 60 because I'm recording a 60 FPS video It's a lot easier to encode it on my my system when I lock everything at 60 FPS when I'm doing a little simple recording like this versus letting my frames run all over the place okay uh, the next one that we have is DPS it's over here and that one is from our details also and that's in the streamer tab that's in details you just bring up details go to your streamer settings go, and then it's going to be under advanced action trackers event tracker just enable disable the ones that you want and you know set it up move it around on your screen accordingly okay and the next one that we have after that is KUI nameplates, okay? And KUI nameplates, that's for my target bars and uh, enemy health bars that are out in the field. So shadowed unit frames for these ones right here, KUI nameplates for out in the enemy and uh, out in the field so I could see all the enemies above their uh, head and all that stuff. Um, the next one that I have is Bag Non. Bag Non is simply just, um, uh, it's a bag add-on and it cleans up all my bags, takes all your bags instead of having a bunch of little ones all over your screen. You have one big bag, so it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. Uh, the next one that I have is Chatter and then what that one does is it just moves your chat box around like this so that it looks like this and you're able to move it around and it cleans up uh, the chat box, okay? You can able and disable and do different things with different fonts and colors that you can't with the standard UI. That's why I like this one. Uh, another must have one is DBM. That one is for all boss fights or anything to do with raiding or mythic, mythic plus keys. Um, it'll just tell you what to get into, what to get out of the cooldowns that are coming from the boss and all this stuff it is a must-have add-on so i definitely recommend getting dbi or dbm uh, another one that i have for pvp and pve is retab binder this one here once you have it you simply can't live without it because you forget that you have it it makes your life a lot more easy uh, when you go into pvp content what it does is it re rebinds your tab key 
to target the nearest enemy player and then when you go into pve content it will target the nearest enemy that you're able to attack okay so you don't have to go and enable and disable different things all the time when you go into pvp or to pve this will automatically do it for you um, another than one that I have is FIS focused interrupt sounds and what focus interrupt sounds does is it makes an audible cue so that anything that's on your focus so let's put this guy right here and set him as our focus our focus is right here that's per se that he would be a resto druid and he was getting ready to cast a rejuve or a cyclone and you wanted to interrupt that spell because the audible cue went doo 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 well you could look over there at your um, focus and kick it because it'll play an audio sound so whether or not you're like tunnel visioning something and you weren't realizing that your uh you know focus that you have set because you have focus targets enabled <laughs> uh it'll play an audio cue anyways if you're not paying attention to what your focus target is doing and you're able to kick them and this is mostly for arena okay uh, the next thing that we have after that is going to be uh, advanced interface options and what this one does is it just uh, re-enables a bunch of stuff that they've disabled over previous patches throughout the uh, wow's retail version of where it is now so just get this if you want a bunch of other stuff that you can ena enable and disable uh, another one that you need to have is battleground enemies and battleground enemies this is a must-have if you're playing anything to do in rated pvp uh, uh, bgs and stuff like that or just playing around in bgs in general uh, this will set up all of your uh, enemy targets on your frame. You can resize it and move it around, put it over on your right side, your left side, up or down, or whatever it is you want to do. So get it, move it around accordingly to your screen and how you have your UI set up. Another one to have for PvP content is capping battleground typers. Uh, this one here, it's just called capping actually. And this one is, um, it shows all of, so if you're playing a flag node per se, and um, you want to know how long it takes to cap that node once you spin the flag well it'll tell you simple as that all right it'll also tell you uh final objective so if the game's real close you'll you'll know whether or not you need to push to cap another node or or whatnot it'll also tell you like uh fc so if you're playing like a brawl or something like that and there's multiple flag carriers or enemy flag carriers it'll show everybody's health that's on there so resize that and move it around on your screen accordingly it's something that i recommend recommend getting um also especially if you're playing in pvp content um another one that you want to get is going to be mythic plus timers and mythic plus timers just simply shows the size of the key that you're running any deaths or how many deaths that you've encountered while you're running the key hopefully nobody's dying while you're running keys because nobody stands in fire right <laughs> and um it'll also accumulate all the uh time encountered from the loss of time from the deaths if you're dying while you're running the key it'll also show you the cooldown and remaining for a plus two or a plus three as you're running the key so if you're pushing keys it's definitely an add-on that i recommend you having you uh can resize that move it around on your screen accordingly so it'll fit in with everything that you have that's going on already on your screen because we're talking about a lot of add-ons already okay and the next add-on that we'll talk about after that is going to be all right and another add-on that i highly recommend getting is simulation craft guys uh you guys should be all simu simming your tunes no matter what character that you're playing that way you're able to know whatever gear that you have that's in your bags at, at, at all times for the max dps that you guys have for stat weights and everything and how you do that is you just bring up forward slash sim c to bring up this box here hit control c to copy all the information and then you're going to bring up raidbots.com and when you go to raidbots.com it'll look like this you're going to copy and paste that information into this box it's going to tell you all the gear that you have that's in there so if you have two different helmets right here you could test all uh, you could run one versus the other one and etc you know rings boots and all that stuff and chants and everything everything you can do different talent builds you could generate stat weights so if you know that you need haste or if you you need versatility or whatever it is so simulation craft raidbots.com definitely be simming your guys' characters okay okay and finishing up with our add-ons here guys the last one that i do have is called dg kill shot and this one is simply just like a luxury add-on uh what this one does is 
whenever your guys in execute range or you do kill something it'll s simply play like a um mortal kombat sound like finish him and it'll be like holy crap and it'll start complimenting you as you kill more and more and more uh horrid or alliance players in, in pvp okay and moving right along now we're going to get into macros and we're going to start with fire because we're already in our fire spec and the macros that i i recommend using and uh, it, it helps with your rotation and it helps you out tremendously no matter what you're playing in frost fire or arcane okay and what we're going to talk about is at cursor macros okay so if you want to cast like your meteor let's bring up this and your talents this is your meteor right here we'll drag it down to here so i can click on it normally if you normally click your meteor you can see right here when you select that spell it brings up this green little icon right here so you know where you're going to cast it well if you look right here the center point where your cursor is is the center point of where that meteor is going to hit so if you macro it all you got to do is push the button one time and it'll cast that spell for you and how you do that is you just type in hashtag show tooltip slash cast open bracket at cursor at or at sign cursor close bracket and then meteor okay and then drag that right here down. so if you wanted to make a new macro and you didn't want to have to find all the spells that are um in the macro tab here because you can see that there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them if not thousands and thousands of them just simply select the uh, little question mark right here call it whatever you want let's call it meteor m-e-t-e-o-r and then click ok <coughs> excuse me and then you're going to just type in hashtag show tool tip and what this does is whenever you mouse over a spell it shows you the tool tip that's on that spell okay and then what you're going to do is cat uh, put forward slot assign slash cast and then just type meteor m-e-t-e-o-r okay and then click save and what that does is automatically select flame strike all right so moving along from meteor into flame strike that is another at cursor macro and what that does is the same thing as meteor guys instead of having the the green thing pop up you know wherever your cursor is is going to be the center point anyways so if you were to hard cast flame strike right here is where we cast it at flame strike goes right there let's cast it over here and instead of you having to select where it's going to go you just push flame strike one time and you automatically start casting that spell it's just like you would hard cast fireball or 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 frostbolt or anything like that okay and by macroing it to wherever your cursor is it makes your rotation a lot simpler so you're able to you know spell weave a lot easier by doing something like this you don't have to cast it push push the button two times to cast one simple spell and moving right along i guess what we'll do is we'll go into frost because a lot of the other macros are not at cursor macros okay and they really don't pertain to this so meteor and flame strike those are the two at cursor macros that i use when i'm playing fire and jumping into frost now all right now that we're in the frost spec here let's bring up our little macro tab you can see that all the question marks that weren't lighting up that weren't activating for frost because we weren't in a frost spec are now activated so the at cursor macros that i use for frost is for my frozen orb so instead of having to cast a little green thing i'll just wherever i throw my cursor is where i cast my orb at so you can see right there my orb popped up right there okay how you do this is simply hashtag show tooltip slash cast open sign or open brackets at sign cursor close brackets frozen orb okay and this right here simply just makes your frozen orb pop up wherever your cursor is same thing as flame strike or your meteor if you were playing um fire okay and then another thing is for if you had your pet you can shatter with your pet like this you just use hashtag show tooltip slash cast um open brackets at sign cursor close brackets freeze and that right there will use your pet shatter so wherever your cursor is if i had a pet right now it'll shatter okay so oh and another at cursor macro for frost is blizzard so wherever you have you know wherever your cursor is is going to be the center point for your cast of that spell so if we were to cast blizzard right here boom there's our blizzard right there we don't have to push blizzard two times once to line it up and then once to cast it we just know that right there wherever our cursor is is where blizzard is going to be casted okay and how you do this one is the same same way guys you just hashtag show tooltip slash cast do your brackets and that cursor sign and then just put blizzard right there and it'll cast blizzard for you okay 
So there you go. That's what that looks like. So that makes your rotation a, a lot easier and a lot more simpler, okay? Um, what we'll do is move into, oh yeah, Ring of Frost for, fro for, for Frost also. So if you're playing Frost and you want to use Ring of Frost, using an Ant Cursor macro for Ring of Frost is awesome also because you're able to cast your um, ring wherever your cursor is and you don't have to push it two times like everything else. So that's the same way, guys. You just hashtag show tooltip slash cast at cursor and then ring of frost. And we'll bring this one down here and we'll put it on our bar, say right here. And that's what that one looks like right there. So we can throw our ring up without having to push it two times. It'll cast it once. You can cast it actually probably about a, a half a second faster because you're not trying to line up where you want it and then you're dropping it and all that stuff. It's just wherever you have your cursor on your screen. All right, so moving right along. Now, what I like to do is like my big cooldowns for Fire, Frost, Arcane, no matter what it is. Let's, let's use uh, Frost here for, for instance because we're in Frost Specs though. Uh, our Icy Veins, okay? And this was, would pertain to like combustion or anything else like that for another, you know, for, for other specs, okay? Um, if you were to do this macro, it would be hashtag show tooltip and slash cast icy veins, cast ice form, uh, use 13 and 14, and then you could put a potion down there in the bottom. What that one does is it uses the 13th and 14th slot that's in your trinkets or in your character tab. So there's seven on this side and seven on this side, your 13 and 14 slot are here. And if these trinkets are able to be activated instead of not proc and you're able to actually click that trinket, what it'll do is it'll activate them for you and use them at the same time that you are popping your icy veins. So you're able to go into full burst with pushing one button, okay? And uh, another, another macro that we have, if you are playing with a pet, okay? Uh, a lot of times, guys, we're gonna have to change our talents here and let's go to bone chilling so that we can summon our pet. Summon our pet up right here. Boom, there's our little pet guy. A lot of times, guys, you don't want your pet to be casting, you know, at spells that are at, at targets that you're not casting at. You don't want him to be breaking, you know, CC or something that somebody's got let's use a demon hunter say a demon hunter imprisoned something and you don't want your pet to cast a a little bolt at him and then break that cc okay so the way i do this is i disable my pet's um water bolt bolt attack okay normally you can see the little icon and it's dancing around like this what you do is you disable it so that you can see the squares and this macro right here when you make it by hashtag show tooltip slash cast frostbolt slash cast water bolt what this does is whatever target that you're casting your frost bolt at it'll make your pet want to cast water bolt at okay you notice right here i'm trying to cast at a pet that's way over there and it's making my pet go nuts so i'll select this guy he doesn't want to cast at him but what anyways the main thing is that your pet will cast at whatever it is that you're casting at with you at the same time that you're casting at so if you're spamming your frost bolt your pet's going to be cast, spamming his uh, water bolt also and that's a simple way for you to be able to have your pet on your target at the same time same way that you use your shatter for your at cursor macros and all that stuff okay now playing with these macros um i'm not going to say it's going to make you a better better player it it, it makes it, I feel like it makes me a better player anyways when I use these macros, okay? Uh, it makes my, my rotations feel a lot more fluent. It makes everything that I do feel a lot easier. And and I don't have to push, you know, the spell twice to, to get it to cast like Blizzard. I can just cast one time wherever my cursor is, and I know instantly that I'm casting a Blizzard right there. So it, it just helps me mentally be able to cast spells uh, uh, with a little bit more confidence and by having a little bit more confidence I feel like I do a little bit more DPS when I do a little bit more DPS I, I think it's because I'm pushing my buttons a little harder <laughs> all right guys so moving into the PvP macros these are just a couple that I use you guys can make these macros accordingly to whatever spells you know and, and your guys play style and bind them to whatever keys and however you guys do it all right these are just a couple that I use. This one uh, is a modifier macro, okay? And this one is for if you wanted to kick your focus. Uh, say we have our focus guy set up right here. 
Uh, we do this one with hashtag show tooltip slash use open brackets, no modifier, at focus slash counterspell. And what this one does is it'll automatically kick our focus. So if we're using the focus interrupts add-on that we talked about earlier, this one will, uh, auto, the add-on will audibly let us know that our focus is hard casting a spell that we're able to kick. And then you're able to put this on your bar somewhere and then push that button one time. And it'll kick your focus target without actually having to select your target, okay? And another thing that we talk about is making modifier macros, okay? And we'll just call this modifier. All right, and we're gonna copy and paste a macro that I have that's from one of my warlocks. All right, and we're gonna use this one for polymorph. We're gonna use polymorph as an example for this. All right, so the way that we do this one here, guys, is hashtag show tooltip slash cast, and then the open sign, open brackets, no mod, comma, space at sign focus close brackets and then you want to space and then the colons right here okay and then you want to type uh space again and then have polymorph in there p-o-l-y-m-o-r-p-h and then you're just going to take and put this in both of these spots and right below that you're going to use slash cast open sign mod and then the two little colon dots right there or semicolons, whatever the colon dot, the two dots, use the two, the two, two dotters, the two, the two, you know what I mean? The, the, the little, where there's a period above, above the period mark, we're going to have to figure out what the hell that is. It's, it's the two, you, you know what, bro, the two, yeah, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the two, it's the two, the two dots, bro. The two dots, bro. Anyways, you're gonna. <laughs> so how you get back to this one? Doing this one is slash cast the uh, open little bracket sign mod. The two little dots. Shift, because we're gonna use shift as an example. You could also put control or alt here. It doesn't really matter. Put a little comma there. Space. At sign focus, close your brackets, put your little two little dots again, your two little dots, and then type polymorph there. All right. And what this guy here is gonna do is every time that you have uh, your focus in inside uh, this right here, damn, I closed it. Open this back up. Give me back my polymorph thing. Where where is it at? Here it is. So let's put this just say on our Q tab, our Q key. Okay. Now the way that this works, guys, is. If I have um, this guy over here selected and I want to polymorph him, well, I just would push my Q key like I normally would, all right? But if I wanted to polymorph this guy right here without do? having to deselect this guy and use the same key to cast the same spell but only at a different target, that's where this modifier macro comes in play. Now you could also, mind you, I'm using shift as an example. You could use control, alt, whatever. So you can bind and modify all these other spells. I've probably just opened up a world of opportunities for all these other spells that you can bind and do all that other stuff to. So getting back to my original example, you're gonna use the same spell to cast on two targets using a shift button, okay? Or control or alt. So. If I would push Q, it would normally try to cast at this target. Now, if I push Shift Q, it's going to try to cast at my focus target. It's using the Q key just with a Shift modifier in there to cast at my focus or cast at my general target like I normally would, and that's a Shift modifier macro, okay? And this is how you do that. I'll leave this here for a second so that you guys can get an idea of it, all right? And mind you, you could put in there Polymorph, you could put in there, you know, your interrupt, and all that stuff for any character or anything that's in there that could be this is for any character any class any spell anything like that shift modifier macros or or alt modifier macros or control modifier macros they're they're just modifier macros in general helps you to be able to cast multiple spells on the same single key okay so you guys can do research and you can bind even three and four spells to the same key just by pushing you know control alt on all that etc in there so if you wanted to put another mod in there like mod alt you would just take the same line right here we will copy it okay paste it and then instead of mod shift here we're gonna have mod alt okay 
and then right here instead of at focus we're gonna put say arena three okay and then up here we'll put arena two just as an example and what this does is every time i push my q key now okay oh my god i almost spelled arena <laughs> almost spelled arena right guys it's late i've been up all day and uh now we're doing the uh mage macro and add-on video so bear with me and sorry about all that you'll get a kick out of it anyways i'm sure i am i'm slap happy it's 3 a.m look at 253 that's why i look like this uh all right so getting back into this right here this is going to be able to cast your polymorph at either or your focus arena number two or arena number three so when you get into arena and you're playing threes you got arena target one arena target two and arena target three whether or not it's your guys or the enemy okay this is going to just be an example okay and this is using only my q key right here with this macro now if i would not push anything it'll cast at my focus a polymorph if i push shift q it'll uh, polymorph the arena target number two and then if i hold alt and then push the q key alt q it will then polymorph arena number three so you could you know put in there control and shift and alt and you know uh, whatever it is that you want for whatever kind of combination and whatever way back and forth for whatever targets it is that you want this is just a different way to be able to bond, bind multiple spells to, to to one key and especially as a mage you want to be able to you know polymorph your healer and put them in a ring over here real quick and still be able to light your target up uh, especially in arena okay and this will just make your play style and everything that you do during your play style be a lot more fluent and easy and simplistic and instead of having the you know again i keep repeating myself but pushing the button two times to cast one spell just is kind of stupid when you know wherever your cursor is anyways is going to be the center point for your that spell that you're going to cast so if you're going to stand there anyways and you were going to cast an orb right here instead of having to line it all up you just put your your just put your cursor there and then cast your orb right there man and call it a day and you, 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 boom you're not you, you have to do three things uh theoretically to be able to cast that spell you have to put your cursor there you have to be able to line up the green thing where you want it and then you're going to cast your orb by doing this you're just putting your cursor wherever you want it want that orb to be cast and then you're just pushing your macro button that you have bound to that and it's casting that at that that area okay and it just makes your life a lot easier and the, all these spells you know go go into arcane and you know use them for arcane to cast you know your arcane power uh and bind it to like your slows and then you know pop a trinket with it and you can do do this for all kinds of different things different ways do different modifiers and different macros that's going to help you in your different play styles for whatever keys that you have your spells bound, bound to, okay? Uh, I can't tell you how to be a better player. I can only show you add-ons that I use and macros that I use that help me out and hopefully they help you guys out too. This is what I use in patch 8.3 currently on my mage, no matter what spec that I'm playing. Anytime that I jump on my mage guy, this is, this is what I'm running, okay? And it helps me out, man, and I can't live without them. I've been playing with these for so long that if I was to try to play without them, I'd probably be lost. So try this. Uh, it'll probably help you guys out. And if it did, please leave some comments below. And also, make sure that you like, follow, subscribe. Tons and tons of people watch me, but they don't do the little button right there. Click it. Do the little thing. Take your mouse over there and click the button, baby. Help a fella out. Help a fella out. I'm Lockhouse, baby. Peace.